Okay guys, I'm going to have to start this episode really abruptly here, um, we have a problem, a very big problem here, uh, Creeper just went the boom, but have a look at what Mojang have done for April Fools, <laughs> reposition you, okay sir, so yeah, they've changed everyone's skin to villagers, as you can see, there, he's also a villager, so uh, let's get on down into the cave, I have some things to show you, he wanted me to come back here for some reason though. I thought I saw a creeper then. Why did you want me? Oh god. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get my reading voice on. Dear Kyle. Okay, very formal. What does he want? I'm here to inform you that I've worked my A dollar dollar sign <laughs> off to tidy the chest and cave, so do not make them look like a tip like last time with chests all over the cave. Many thanks, Iron Lover. <laughs> Yeah, P.S. Swagger needs a barn. Yep, I knew he'd want something. Him. So let's have a look what he's done. He's done... Oh, wow, okay. Actually, wait a second. So I suspect when he said he's been off in his cave, he's actually been out looking for materials. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't have this acacia wood before. Or jungle. Right, there's a dirt chest, which... Okay, that's a lot of sandstone. Um, oops. Oh my god. Uh, oh, we've got potatoes. We've got taters. Taters. Yes. It's exactly what I wanted. I wonder how long it took him to get that. Um, I think that's all the chests I had. In the yeah, this is a junk chest. Which I made one of these, by the way. Oh, another thing. I went out looking for mobbity mob mom mobs and I found 40 chicken. 40 chicken. That's right. Now I need that paper. Uh, 3, 6, 9. So I need 9 paper. And I am lagging like crazy for some unknown reason. Let's see, look. Everything is off. It's just. The game doesn't like me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So let's get three leather in here. And then let's do this. So that is three books. Which is once again. No. No. My mouse always plays up on a record. Uh, so that is obviously another bookshelf. So we actually need six of these. So let's take this. Turn that into plankety planks. So we need to take four away from there. Oh my god, I'm good at math. Uh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So that will make us another bookshelf. I'd appreciate to stop lagging. That would be quite nice. I was actually just discussing with Iron Lover then, just before I started recording. I'll show you now. Hang on. So he uh, can't wait to get a PC. That is so true. I honestly cannot wait to get a PC. It's going to be so good. Be able to record the credit project with no lag. That's not going to cook. Oh my god, this is horrible. Uh, let's put all that in there. What? Okay. Oh, you're seeing that right there? Yeah, I'm sure you're wondering what that is. Let me show you. Let me in enlighten you. You have no idea. No idea how long it took to get that thing in there. Ugh, there was a massive pipe leading all the way out here, all the way to the sea. I had to pull him all the way through with that leash, exactly that leash. I think he's come off the leash. Yeah, he has. Come on, you tramp. Stay there. Ah, I went to hit him. <laughs> right, so yeah, this squid. He's actually called Squishy, uh, but I don't think you can actually see it, no matter how close you get. I'll try and show you, hang on. Maybe if I do this, and then we do a little breaking and entering job, like so. Let's try and get a little closer. Oh, oh yeah, Squishy, yeah. So, he's actually named, but unfortunately, I'm going to drown. 
yeah, unfortunately you can't actually see that through the glass, which I was hoping you would be able to, but no, apparently not. But you see, it just adds like a nice little wall here, so, because uh, if you look at this path down here, it leads right to just behind the tank. The tank's literally there, right? So this is a nice place for it to lead to, because we can do some more building features. That, that gets on my nerves, I keep thinking it's full. Uh, yeah, so this place is going to look good. We currently have two bookshelves towards our enchantment room. And also, you may be wondering what that massive cow noise is. Now, as soon as I actually get a decent FPS, I will show you. <laughs> so, let's go through here. Now, I've got a little cow thing going on around here. So, I slay them, like so. Then I do an entering job again, like so. Then these two, I have to get some wheat for these two so obviously they can reproduce let's go and check if he's brought us any wheat he's got them so I'm assuming he has uh, not much not much hmm okay anyway um, when they actually I have reproduced them about twice I've probably he probably did bring me quite a bit of wheat <laughs> on second thoughts but anyway, the enchanting room is going to go right here. Right here. So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it goes. I'm going to take it in like this much. Here we go. So then we start filling in the wall, is it? It is 3 6. Then it needs another. Four there, so ten and then fourteen. So we need another twelve, roughly, roughly. Hopefully that will be possible in the future. Um, but for now, we unfortunately have no sugar cane planted outside. But I did have it planted outside, just just literally outside the entrance. Oh, I thought you were a mob then. That's why I kept on running. Um, yeah, but they didn't seem to be growing, so I'm going to put them right here. Okay, not there. And we can come and check back up on them and see if they're growing in the next episode. Which I more than likely won't record for quite a while because I've already got quite a lot recorded already. Um, like I was saying, here. Yeah, eight. Uh, I got like eight recorded. He was telling me I should do an episode because people are going to start thinking I'll be like in creative mode or something. So um, I don't want. I'll show you now. I cannot physically go into game mode one anymore. I have uh, disabled them. I I never use creative to actually build something. I just use it. Say now, I was asked this question. Say now I go AFK. I would just go into like, slash game mode one. No, game mode one. Then I would just double tap space, fly up, so no mobs could kill me. Um, but yeah, that that happened. I can also change the game rule yet. Uh, I will get that sorted. Probably, hopefully, for the next episode. Don't get your hopes up, but I think it should be plausible for the next episode. And if I could stop lagging, I'd appreciate that. I'll be right back and then try and fix this problem. Right, guys, welcome back. I think I may have debugged the problem. Um, I, I've had mipmap levels on for the whole time and they are known for causing lag. Uh, it's not going to fix it completely because this isn't a game in PC, just saying. But uh, that was close, that nearly caused my death then. <laughs> I couldn't jump, you could hear me hitting the space bar more than likely. I don't think it's fixed it too much because look at the FPS now, right? Boom, look up. Like, usually looking up fixes the problem. There, see, it's just increased, and then if I look back down, or if I hit him, for instance, it it's still kind of laggy. Um, ow! Come on, bro. Brother. <laughs> oh, he nearly killed Swagger. What a hit! What a hit! Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave! Ah. 
That bow is too OP. I will get that off him. Yeah, this hasn't been a productive episode, has it? I think we better get something productive done here. Um, you didn't see that in the bottom left, okay? You saw nothing. C could you not? So I'm just going to wreck him. <sighs> that is how you do it. <laughs> So, um, anyway, what well, what I think we're going to do today is set up a... Can I help you? Din, 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 din. Oh no, oh no, I'm sorry. I, de I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Sit down, brother. Good man. So, yeah, we need a farm. Oh, I changed the design of this, by the way. I preferred it like this. So, farm is evidently going to go here, by the way that I'm actually doing stoof. So I'm just going to sort of fill in this wall a little here. Uh, let's do that for now. And then, uh, if my mouse would stop glitching out. Alright, so then we go back like this. And then I believe it goes from here, it goes to either side, so one, two, one, two, one, that went completely wrong, two, alright, so then it goes boom, 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 have you seen how badly my mouse is spinning around, you'd think my sensitivity was on like a million percent, but it's, it's on 80 or 70. Unbelievable. Are you joking me? Right, so I'm just going to set up the room today because I've already recorded that little segment previously. Uh, so this episode could end up getting it quite long. Uh, wait, is this? Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? So it comes out to here and then it goes boom, bit of boom, boom. Yup. So I've just been speaking to Iron Lover once again about the PC situation. Um, it turns out he knows someone that's actually bought a Zoo Storm PC. Don't know if any of you have ever seen a Zoo Storm PC. They're reasonably cheap from Argos um, or wherever you get them from. But yeah, I'm I'm asking him to sort of look into how well it runs Minecraft, etc. Because I think it's high time, guys. I can't, I know it's an Alienware, but that's, that's until next year that I'd be waiting for that, so, um, I really, like, desperately need one, quite urgently, because, in all fairness, it would get used so much, so, so much, um, because I, uh, I'm on it 24-7, you know, so, Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Is he seriously asking me this question? <laughs> Hashtag ask the audience audience uh, so yeah <laughs> that's probably going to be the name of this episode something to do with Miley or that I don't even know something stupid I really don't know how <laughs> well if any of you happen to know this situation <laughs> Uh, tweet me at CryoHD and um, I'll be sure. Or you could actually tweet him at Space Ducks. S P A C. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> no, I won't. S P A C E D U X. You'll find him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> his name's Ryan Williams, by the way. So that's that's his Twitter name as well. So uh, you'll know when you found him, don't worry. If I told him I couldn't care less about it, but it's always good to get. <laughs> Get 
get to working. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a paid show. He's done it again. No. Oh. Yep, that that was so if any of you happen to know how that started then as I said, let us know. We we if I'm honest I couldn't really care less, but um Yeah, you you might want to tweet it at him because he evidently wants to know. I don't think he realised that I wasn't watching. He was still going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get out. Is he still going down there? <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. I am done. <laughs> Alright, Robin and Miley. That's enough. You may have just heard me getting... What? <laughs> you may have just heard me getting cold right there, but... Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's that's going to be it for this episode, guys, I'm afraid. Uh, I, I'm a, I didn't actually lag them when I started recording. I was pretty amazed. Uh, yeah, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. So, there's been... Let's have a quick recap. I haven't done one of these before. So, in today's episode, we've had twerking pumpkins and twerking villagers. We've had a twerking discussion. Um, and we built this little room. Pretty much. Uh, oh, and we slayed him, didn't we? Yes, we, we got slayed and then we... We got our revenge, so it's been pretty productive, but no, it hasn't really. But it should be back to uh, normal format next time. Hopefully there won't be any pumpkin shenanigans going on. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And don't forget to leave, move. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Ow!